Whew. Beautiful day today. Um, there it is. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit <clears throat> right now. I got some more stuff that I want to bring up, but uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, hoof boots. Hoof boots for turnip. Um, a lot of people use hoof boots when they go to ride, uh, when they want to go on trailer trails that they figure um, they figure that their horse may not be able to handle so well. It's really rocky or uh, just footing that just seems too rough for for the hoofs. So they put them in boots instead of shoes. If you've never heard of what a hoof boot is, it's like a sneaker. You know, you put your shoes on when you go out in the morning. It's sort of the same idea. And uh, these guys are... It's pretty wet, but the sun's come out nicely. So, let's see if I can't... These guys are nuts. I'll get some footage of these guys shortly. But here I am for bear. I want bear. Hi, bear. Um... Bear's been doing really well. Just finished giving him a good ride. And uh, so of course he's decided to get super sandy. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to change out his boot. He, uh, he used to have two boots on. What? what? He used to have two boots on and now he's only got one. Um, because he's got a poor frog which is not unusual at all. Having thrush and sort of broken down frogs is surprisingly common. Uh, so we're just uh, sort of treating that kind of aggressively. Um, but I want to change out his boot um, right now. And uh, so I thought I'd show you guys that and, and why, why I'm using a boot on him is because it gives a, a flat surface for the hoof wall to sit on. Enjoy the entertainment behind me. Uh, but the idea is that the, the frog uh, is given a break from hitting the ground, uh, especially on anything sharp like any rocks or twigs or things like that, that put pressure on it because it's already kind of ripped. So I'm going to see if I can not take this boot off. But I might have to get those guys to go away, otherwise Bear will sort of wander off. So let's get uh, let's get on with it. Let's see if I can figure out the safest place to do this. Cause look at these guys. Sandy horses. Okay, so bears wandered over this way. Um. Now, what I'd like to be able to do is get this thing off and a new one on before he steps down onto the sand. So, let me see if I can uh, figure that out. Maybe, I'll just do it here. Okay, watch out there. Okay, so, the thing about these things um, that I like, the easy, the easy boots, there is quite a... Uh, He's quite curious and quite nibble. Look, man. Um, very curious little horse. Stop it. No, no, no thanks. You can... I know I've covered biting and sort of nibbling in the past. Oh, I lost. When it comes down to... No, there's been caught. Ooh. Bear's tired. It's not really wanting to play. And that's how a horse kind of shows he doesn't want to play. It just goes off on his own a little. Whereas these two, unending amount of energy. 
bear. There he goes. And there those guys go. They think it's a game. Okay, I guess maybe this video might just turn into a bunch of horses playing around and goofing off. Um, oh. <laughs> Come on, bear. You know you're not gonna win. What? Did you get in a big fight? Watching horses play an awful lot. I mean, I spend a lot of time watching these guys goof off. And you can see when a real kick is coming and when those sort of move it or lose it sort of kicks kind of come in. And those were a couple of those. You know, they could have done a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse. Um, but these two are buddies. They like to play a lot. Just Bear's not interested in playing. Let's see if he'll come with me. Come on, Bear. He probably will. So that's good. Usually uh, they figured out if they hang around with me, they're probably going to be relatively safe uh, from playing. Hey buddy, come on. It's good. He's probably hoping to be let out. I know. He's yawning. Yawning is a sign of de-stress. Not that they are not stressed, but a sign of de-stress. So he'll probably do that a few more times to get himself out of that. Now, because he's come with me, it is sort of, I feel it's my responsibility to um, make sure he doesn't get hassled by the boys. So, anyways, let's quickly get this done, because this might be just a video all in itself. Um, I am going to block him if I can. Nope, it's thirsty. Because uh, I don't really want him to go back there and do anything if he's never thinking that. I can just stick around. Okay, so we've got these boots. Um, and they wrap around. So the back of it is called the gator. The front of it is the actual boot. Um, and you can see this one's getting reasonably well worn. It comes off like that. And the other piece comes off like that. Now, he's had this boot on for, I guess today is day two. Now, I knew he was gonna, whenever horses drink, they're happy to put their mouth on your back. So, keep that in mind, and they drool. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this boot off. We're gonna see what it looks like underneath there. Then bear stuff with it, just stand there before. So let's see. What? No? Come on, Bear. Okay. Ugh. Now, he might be resistant to give me his foot because of those guys over there. All right. So I'll get him to calm down a little and let's see if I can get this thing off. I might have to put the camera down. Or not. Okay, so because um, poor Bear has a little bit of thrust going on, he's had some repairs done. And you can see there that some of his frog has been cut out um, because he was just plain rotten. And some thrush off applied. As I've shown in my last video that I did on thrush, we give that a good clean, make sure it's trimmed well, and just apply something that inhibits any further growth. So, anyhow, I'm gonna switch hands here. Hopefully, it doesn't give me any trouble. I'm gonna take this next boot, because it's, it's cleaner. I'm just gonna slide that on. Just like that. So it's not quite on properly, so I'm going to have to lift his foot up. There. Now these boots are pretty easy to put on. Um, once they're on mostly straight, 
Uh, and this one's fitting a little loose at the moment, so I'm gonna have to take a look at if his foot is in quite right. We'll just do that right now. Foot. Make sure it's straight. My thumb here is the middle of his bulbs, and I want that screw to match up. So I'm gonna just turn it a little, punch it on a little bit with my hand, and then he'll put his own foot down and into it to where we then just quickly put one over there and one like that and you're tied on. So, uh, yeah. so he gets turnout and time to heal with the boot on. And when their, boot, when their feet get inside these for a little while, they start to smell a little. Um, naturally so, I mean, if you kept shoes on all the time, you'd probably have sweaty feet or something like that. And they have the same thing. They get, they have warm feet and they sweat and it's normal. So I take that boot and I'll clean it out with some bleach. And I think I'll put bear in, but um, using boots for turnout can be very, very beneficial. Uh, because it allows them the, the freedom to move around without having to worry about if something hurts They can get away from other horses if they're playing and stuff like that uh, And just playing feel better. So it's good for their health. It'll allow them to also walk properly if they've got that pain in the back Maybe through bad thrush or something um, They'll do what's called a toe walk and they won't step down onto their the back of their foot much Which is not good at all. You really don't want any of that. You really kind of want them to land flat Talking about uh, the dynamics of, of how horses walk and all that um, is another topic altogether. But the important thing is we really want them to walk as properly as possible. And anything we can do to help that, like putting on hoof boots, even for a turnout, uh, can be hugely beneficial. Uh, keeps him out of pain too. Thrush, thrush is pretty, pretty destructive, but he's come a long ways. So uh, more on that soon. And for now, maybe I'll turn you uh, over to these guys. Then I turn the camera on them and they are just sort of hanging out, which is nice too. So, anyhow, I hope this has been kind of interesting. Um, I always try to bring the camera out when I think I'm doing something that might be informative. Uh, hoof boots is definitely a topic I'd like to talk more about as soon as I get the time to do so. But hopefully, that's given a little insight into how you know you can, there's another thing that you can do to help take care of your horse if they've got problem and you uh, are wondering if there's any solutions this one happens to be you know a thrush problem a poor frog so we use hoof boots to help that out well, playing a little bit not enough not enough to make it exciting uh, so thanks for watching this um, yeah see you guys again soon I think lots more to do around here very busy day and the weather's holding up quite nicely Here we go.